Welcome to Athens Middle School. I'm Mr. Roach, the assistant principal here at AMS. Let's go to the office where Mrs. Bolin and I have a few things we would like to cover. Thank you, Mr. Roach, and welcome Athens Middle School families. Typically, we offer orientation for our incoming seventh graders and the new families in the district. However, this year, we're offering our orientation to all Athens Middle School students and families due to our new virtual learning experience. Okay, so let's get started. This year is going to be a little different, so let's see exactly what it's gonna look like. Here is what you will learn during your orientation today. You will meet some helpful people here at Athens Middle School. You'll learn how to get informed and involved. You'll learn a little bit about our core values. You'll learn about the structure of Athens Middle School and the student schedules. You will learn about Canvas, our learning management system, what the first day of school is going to look like, and a little bit about synchronous and asynchronous learning. You'll also be informed about how we will be tracking attendance, how to pick up your technology and your textbooks and materials, when and how you're gonna to get to meet your teachers. You'll also learn a little bit about uh, the fact that we're a Title I school and what that means to you and your family. And finally, you'll have some information for future reference for technology support and how to contact many of us. Here are some of the people at Athens Middle School. You've already met me. You've already met Mr. Roach. This is Mrs. Rittenhouse. She is our school counselor. You can find her counseling page on our website. If you call into the office, you might get one of these two people, Mrs. O'Leary and Mrs. Mayle. So all of these people here at Athens Middle School serve students in a variety of ways. I'm gonna let you read through what some of these people do, but let me bring attention to Dr. Rittenhouse. You'll get the opportunity to meet her in your team meetings later in the week. And she has a pretty involved web page that you can check out. In the virtual environment, it's going to be important for families to stay informed and to get involved as much as possible. The most important ways you can do that is to check on our, our website, update your contact information if anything changes, check your email, and join our PTO. At Athens Middle School, we continually reinforce our core values. You'll hear them throughout your classes, and in many of the communications we send home. Our core values are to be present, be kind, be prepared, be thorough, and be positive. In order to best serve our families during the times of COVID and virtual learning, there have been a few changes to the structure at Athens Middle School. We are using Teams this year to deliver some support and to streamline our communication. Each team consists of approximately 100 students and four academic teachers and one intervention specialist. Students will see every team member every day. They will also see an elective team member each nine weeks or a member of the world language team all year long. World language will remain online even if we return face to face. Additional support staff will also be working on the teams as we approach this new endeavor. Student schedules will become available on Infinite Campus starting Tuesday morning. When you open your student schedule, you will see that the student schedule looks exactly like it would if you were going to be in the building. What I've done on this slide is to put the time periods for each period in yellow underneath period one, two, three, four, five, six, and added a period seven or advisory. Essentially, you will have a homeroom period from 7.30 to eight o'clock. That is not a time that you have to check in with anyone. It's just a suggestion that you go ahead and use that time to get ready to learn. School begins at eight. Every class begins on the hour. You have lunch from 11 to 12. Even though your period four class says lunch slash advisory or advisory slash lunch, your advisory time actually begins at two o'clock. The two to three time period is for advisory 
or a seventh period class for some people, and some people will have band on alternating days. If you do not have a class or band from two to three, this is advisory time for you to complete the work that you were given throughout the day. However, you do not have a live synchronous time with your advisory teacher each day at two o'clock. Canvas is our new learning management system. It's going to be used for all of these things listed here. And we're gonna give you more information on that in the next slide. The first official day for school for students is Monday, August 31st. On Monday, you will receive a video through your school Gmail account. This video will teach you how to access Canvas and to open each class. You will have a task to complete for each class. You will be able to complete that independently and you will have success in doing so. Parents, your child may complete these tasks at any time on Monday. It is not imperative that you be with your child to complete the task, but if you want to be, that is okay too. So we've learned a lot of new words during the pandemic. Synchronous and asynchronous seem to be the latest educational buzzwords. So we're going to go over what those mean for us. For synchronous learning, you'll have live classes with Zoom Tuesday through Friday, and your advisory will be live at 1230 on Mondays, starting on September 14th. Asynchronous would be learning opportunities where you do not have to be face-to-face -face with your classmates or your teacher, but you are given assignments that you can complete independently. Mr. Roach is going to say a few things about student behavior as it pertains to synchronous Zoom meetings. Students are responsible for behavior while attending synchronous Zoom meetings with teachers and peers. Continual misbehavior or disruption while on those synchronous Zoom meetings may result in a referral by the teacher to administration about that behavior. At that point in time, there will be a meeting set up with the administrator, student and parent to try and solve what issue is at hand. Also, while in these Zoom synchronous class meetings, small group discussions may be used by the teacher. Discussion in these groups should be limited to the topic that the teacher has given the students. Failure to stay on topic or any incident of harassment, bullying in these small groups may result in a student being disciplined and or loss of the opportunity to be involved in small group discussions. Attendance isn't that different from attending when we are in school face to face. Students are expected to attend all learning opportunities that are live with teachers. They are expected to complete their assignments each day. If a student is ill and cannot attend a live session or an entire day, a parent needs to call the absence line just like they would have in previous years. If a student misses a portion of a day or an entire day, the student is responsible for obtaining the makeup work by communicating with the teacher and, and checking Canvas. Attendance will be taken daily. Parents should communicate absences to the office so that the students can be marked excused. We do realize there will be rare individual cases where students need to consistently miss the same period or even the same day of the week due to circumstances within your family. On Tuesday, September 1st, at the end of each class period, teachers will talk to students about the, these possibilities and the next steps for notifying the attendance office. Once we have those possible scenarios, we will contact you and put a plan in place so that your child will not fall behind. There are two types of materials we need to get to families. One type is the technology of hotspots and Chromebooks. If you express the need for those, you have been contacted about an appointment for a pickup time on Tuesday, August 25th. If you still need an appointment for pickup, please call the middle school office at 740-593-7107.
The other type of materials we need to get to families are textbooks and other hands-on hands -on supplies. Those will be available for pickup on September 8th and 9th. Details will be forthcoming. The assignments created between now and then will not require the use of extra materials. Later this week, you will have the opportunity to meet your academic team teachers. Those meetings will take place this Thursday and Friday. You should be watching your email for specific times and links to those Zoom meetings. As parents, there are a couple of things that you might not know about our school. One is that we are a Title I school, which means that we receive federal funding from the Elementary and Secondary Education Act. This means that we have highly qualified teachers in all of our content areas. And if you would like to inquire about their qualifications, you have the right to do so. Also, students of uh, families who are homeless have educational rights. If you are in a situation where you are homeless or you know someone who is, please contact the district. You can speak with me, Mrs. Bolin, for more information. The next two slides have a lot of information about how you can seek help with technology or other forms of communication. You can pause these slides now and write down the information or take screenshots to save them for later. This information might be useful at a later time. Thank you, Athens Middle School families. So let's review what you can expect in the upcoming days. You will have an opportunity to Zoom with your team of teachers on Thursday or Friday. You will be getting that email link on Thursday morning. Additionally, on Monday, you will also be getting an email link about with a video that will help you get on Canvas and complete some asynchronous lessons. You'll be able to do these independently and successfully. On Tuesday, September 1st, we will begin our live synchronous lessons, and those will continue all week. Again, I want to thank the families that have viewed our orientation today, and I look forward to seeing all of you. Now for a final message from Mr. Roach. I look forward to our journey and hope to see everyone in person soon. Until then, I'll see you on Zoom.